Hi, I'm being held hostage and made to make a video on how to make a solar viewer that won't burn your eyes out from looking at the sun with your naked eye. And uh, so I went and got some supplies that I need to make this solar viewer and I'll show them to you right now. So what you're gonna need is a cheap bino. I think they're like five or six bucks on Amazon or something. And um, so you get your binos and you come close to the center of the box, but a little high because you're gonna be looking at it from down here. Like that. But first, what we're gonna have to do is take a razor, razor knife like this and cut a little strip of pasteboard. Now, with this pasteboard, what we're gonna to have to do is gonna go around the eyepiece lens and wrap it around there fairly tight. You can mark it if you want. And then, get your razor knife and cut it. Ah! Okay. Now that you've got this piece cut and you tape one side of it, get it like this, tape this together. Now you wanna center it. I like to put it like this, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the duct tape and I'm gonna strap it from here to here to hold it down. Now that you've got that done, kinda of hold it down and draw a fairly decent circle around it to where you can tell where it's supposed to go. There's the circle from the cardboard. Now take a circle that's a little larger than your eyepiece lens and draw inside. What I like to do is go in about a quarter inch from the outside circle and make another circle. That way the binocular have a place to rest and it won't try to go through there. Once you've got that done, take your razor and cut that inner circle out. Now that you got your glue gun ready, take the binocular with the cardboard wrapped around it and then set it on there and try to put it right where the line was that you drew earlier. Hold it down, tack it on with a hot glue. Now you can take your binos out and if you miss some spots gluing, you can come back and glue them. Now you're gonna have to cut a hole so you can see through it. And the way I like to do it is, is like this. I'll take a, my hat, I'm gonna measure from here down to about my cheekbone there so I can, I'll know about how far down to bring the, uh, or how high up to bring the cut. So there's how high I wanna bring it. Come up to there, I'm gonna put my cap there because that's, that's gonna be about the shape of my head. And I'm gonna mark it right, right about there, try to get it about the same on both sides. And that's about the right width too, so. I'm gonna come down like this, and now I'm gonna try to trace around the hat, where the hat area is, like this. And this is where you're gonna be looking through. Cut this out. And for your nose, I suggest coming out about this far, where your nose will actually fit inside there. So that's another, about, this far. Now that you've got it marked, just get your knife, cut this out. Oh, and there's easier ways to do this. You can just cut a little hole in here and look through it. Just a hole about this size and look through this if you wanted to. But I like to make things a little bit better than they need to be. Now I cut this out. Now what you have is this. You'll look into it like this. And you'll be able to see the image that's projected on the 
back of the box. Another thing I like to do, get a towel or an old sweat top. You want to take a stapler and uh, fold it over this. I found this old t-shirt of my wife's. And now you can take and staple it. What you're trying to do is block all the light out from coming in besides what's going to be coming through the binocular. Don't go buying a hundred dollar pair of binoculars to do this. You can, but it's a waste of money. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, get the scissors, and I cut it off at about the armpits. Doesn't matter, just as long as it's enough to hang over your head and block the light out from coming in behind you. Now we've got under the sleeves cut off, we can take it, bring it over like this, and start stapling all this together. And it's done. All you have to do now, put your head inside the hole and cover your head up. It'll black everything out so you can see everything. I can't see anything right now. There's no light. If you want to do something a little extra, you can get a white sheet of typing paper, printer paper, whatever you want to call it, and put it back here and tape it down. If you really want to get fancy, you can take this paint. You have to get this specific black paint. If you don't get this specific black paint, it won't work. Well, now you could probably get, um, you could brush it on if you want to. It does as long as it's black paint, it doesn't matter. You spray the inside so to keep everything dark and have you a, a, a nice image to look at. I'm not gonna do it in here because my wife will kill me. Now that you've got that done, you can take your binocular and set it on there and you can tape it on. But before we do that, we're gonna shore up this box, get it nice and sturdy. I'm gonna tape it up and you wanna take this tape and you wanna cover all the edges along here. Anywhere there's a crack to where the sunlight can get in, you wanna cover it up. So the only light that gets in is through here. Now, if you want to get really fancy and make it really nice where you can hang on to it really well, get a pool noodle, cut it off about that long, and glue it on the sides to where you have handles to hang on to. And then glue it right there. I'm just going to put a mark there. And I'll do the other side the same way. And once you get this on your head and you think you've got all the light blocked out and you see some spots where light's coming in, you want to make sure and get those holes covered up. You've got your hot glue gun now. What you want to do is put the hot glue on here to glue your pool little handles down. Kind of getting in the spot where you had it. You just kind of roll it back and forth, make sure it sticks really good. Then you do the other side. Now, it's time to put the binocular on. I don't like this string, so I'm just going to remove it. Now you got your cheap binoculars, which work just great for making a viewer. Put it on like that. Push it all the way up to the hole. Make sure it's wide enough to go down the sides on both sides. Put it across the middle of the binocular like that and just tape it down. 
Now you can still access the adjustment knob on here that you'll need to use to make sure it focuses in on the sun really well. Hold it outside first and get the corner of the box in line with the sun. I'll show you what I mean outside. Got to see my shadow first. If I can't see my shadow, I can't line the box up. But I can actually see the trees inverted behind me. And there's the sun. That is about as good as an image as I'm going to get, I think. Now, cover up all the holes. That's a nice image. I can see the trees. Sun went behind the clouds again.